what's happening everybody so today I got that delivered the camp shelf smoker pursuit I'm so excited to get this thing set up we once I get it pulled out set up I'll show you guys how everything works on that excited it's like Christmas here we go <laughs> Cool thing is that comes with uh, these two probes right here. You run these probes right through the, there's a little hole in the side right here. Right yeah. here. You can run your probes through there. Stick these probes in your in the meat there so you can tell how close they are to being done for temperature. And then you plug them in right here. Probe, and the X and Y. If you're cooking up two different meats, then you can just plug one in and then you know when to pull the one off when you're hit temperature and then same with the other one so one thing I love about this you got a, a little bottle opener here just in case you want to crack open your favorite beverage right there and like I said this folds out uh, it folds down to be a dolly and it also folds up so you can see how compact it is that's what I love about this grill so now I just got to install the handle and I will pop this thing up so you can see what it looks like raised up. So if you raise it up, you twist these out so that way it'll sit level on whatever surface you have. And then to wheel it around, nice and easy. you can see it well, I don't know if you can see it in there but it's really greasy so just to keep stuff from rusting keep protected from traveling so I'll pull that off wipe it down and then uh, give it a cleaning and then I'll fire this thing up and burn off a lot of other stuff what I like about this grill is there's this knob right here on the side so as you can see so if I pull this out that gives me a direct flame here. So if I want to cook direct method, I can just slide that over. I have direct heat coming up from underneath. Or when I slide this over for a smoke, this disperses that so it's an indirect heating method. So that helps cook things a little bit longer and you know, obviously gives it that good smoke flavor. But like I said, if you want to go direct heat, just like a barbecue griller, a regular gasser, then you do that. Otherwise, you pop that through. You're good to go. I'll show you for the clean out because I put that down there. That's a little catch for all your ash. Um, then there's this little slide right here. So when this fills up after the hoppers push that through and burn all that smoke out, then you just slide the handle there. And you can see it just drops that right down through there on the ash. Close it up and now we're good to go again. see how this is angled right here the drippings and stuff that actually slide through that's where it goes right into your drip tray itself so when this goes in see there's a lip on the top here that sits there on this side this runs down to our grease catch on the back side so everything comes down on this side drains down 
right into the catch there, make it for a lot easier cleanup. You can see that angle, it comes down just like that. So that way everything will drain right there. Two racks, the black one goes on the bottom. That is your cooking rack. And this here is your warming rack, which goes on top. Just like so. Okay. I'm gonna probably wipe it out one more time with a rag, a little bit of soap and water, just cause I don't want it just to smell like burning plastic or get that grease out of there. I don't like that at all. So, um, but it's good, it protects the, mach the machine while it's sitting in storage until you get it to your house. Um, one other thing I really like about this is this feature, you can lock everything up nice and tight. There's your auger size right there. Right there, your, your tray for your pellets. Let me show you, run through the dials real quick. So when you first start it up, obviously you want to uh, start up, um, bypass startup, and then you can hit, there's your shutdown, there's your feed. So if you need to feed your pellets in, that'll run the, the pellets through, um, get those through there. Here's low smoke, high smoke, then there's your temperatures right there all the way around here to your high temperature. So if, if you're going to actually use your grill itself, here's the here's where you actually want to set your knob to if you're grilling, if you're a direct method grilling, or if you wanted to heat up. Or let's say you want to just smoke, put it on low smoke, leave it in there for whatever you're cooking for how long, and then just before you're done, you could do a reverse sear on it, then you can crank the heat directly up and then that so will actually sear everything else right in. You have a really nice smoke ring at that point in time. Uh, when you're all done, hit shut down. Comes with a separate fuse just in case. You don't want something burning up on you. Um, but yeah, super excited to try this thing out. And uh, I'll definitely show you guys when I get some meat going and get it all cleaned up. So stay tuned. Got the uh, smoker fired up, ready to go. And uh, let's give this Camp Chef a go round. So our very first thing that we're going to do in that Camp Chef is uh, my deer roast um, from this year's bow hunt. So I'm going to be prepping this up for our hunt for tomorrow. My son drew a muzzleloader tag here in Utah and we're going to be going out after that. And uh, I'm going to get this guy seasoned up, a little bit of Montreal and some Worcestershire sauce. And anyway, get this thing marinated made it up and uh, seasoned and we're gonna get this thing put on. Can't wait. So anyway, let's get this thing on and get it rolling. Just wanted to show you the pellets that I've actually chose to use for this roast. Um, I've got the, there's the competition blend from Camp Chef. It's a mixture of maple, hickory, cherry and hardwood blend. So, um, so I got this loaded up in the hopper. I have it on low smoke while that roast sits and marinates a little bit and that uh, sauce and juices. So things are smoking really good out there. So I'll take you out there next and throw this nice big fat steak uh, or roast for that matter um, onto the camp chef and we're gonna get things going on and I can't wait for the results. We'll see. And I think with this blend, I think it'll be very complimentative as far as the, the cut of meat goes. So let's uh, give this thing a go. Okay, so here we go. This is what we got. We got it set up on uh, low smoke, as you can see. And uh, the temperature is set at 217. When you first start this thing up, you know, if you need to uh, feed, you hold the bypass start up and actually will feed the hopper. Uh, so if you change your pellets out or if you need to fill that in, that's what you'll do and then you crank this over to low smoke once that's done then it'll do a startup cycle um, and then things will start smoking from there on out um, and I've actually lined that thing up with uh, a little bit of foil and there's slots in between here that I actually cut out so that way that smoke will come up nicely through the bottom of that without hindering anything so anyway let's uh, throw this meat on Okay, so the meat is on now. Um, it's 11 o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna give this a good 
two, three hours actually. I gotta get some other stuff ready to go for the hunt. And uh, while that's cooking up, I'm gonna go do that. And I'm gonna check the hopper periodically just to make sure we don't need any more pellets in there because that's the last thing we wanna do is run out of the pellets for the smoke and the heat. Okay, so we've been on for an hour and 40 minutes now. So, and our temperature's holding at 158. And let's see what we've got here. Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to crank this thing up. I'm gonna actually going to give it a sear because we've been on for quite some time now. I'm going to stick the meat probe in and uh, see where we're at it for temperature and make sure we're good. Yeah, I'll pull it off. I'll wrap it up, let it sit. Uh, then I'll do a holdover cook as well. And then uh, we'll be good to go. Okay, so my audio decided to take a turn. But here we go. So we put the probe in there, run it through the hole, and put it into the meat. Set to throw in a little bit of fish, as you can see. Now, if we hit this probe temperature button, it will read. And it's reading at 161, because I did do a reverse sear on there. And since this was my first go-round with this, I'll probably actually cook it a little less next go-round, because the holdover temperature will continue to cook once I wrap it in foil. So, mental note for future use. So I'm going to get this probe pulled out and take it in. So it's at shut down. It goes through a shutdown cycle so it doesn't keep burning the pellets in the grill there. Okay, so we made it to deer camp and finally but here we're gonna unveil this, cut this up. Show you what this guy looks like. Dun, dun, dun. And get this thing sliced up. And just here. Okay, so unfortunately audio issues again, but here we go, my son Kossin. He's getting ready to take his first bite of this delicious roast. And you can see by the look on his face, yes, definitely good. And my turn, finally. And oh yes, by the look on my face, it is very good. And I have to say this is probably one of the best roasts I have ever had. Uh, especially with the deer roast, had full of flavor and uh, still very juicy, even being a little overcooked, but I was happy with the result. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your comments, your likes, and your views. And if you wouldn't mind, hit that subscribe, subscribe button, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.